Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. I know that I know that seems like maybe it's kind of a weird place to film a video. Um, I've been wanting to film this video for a little while, but I didn't know how I was going to do it. And in all honesty, the reason that we're filming it in here today is because it is the warmest room in the house and it's 15 degrees outside. One five, not 50, five zero like it was yesterday. Um, so I'm cold <laughs> and this room is the smallest room in the house. It's the very center of the house. And so uh, we keep the little baseboard heater down on the lowest setting in the winter time and the door shut and then it's like a little warm room in here and it's very cozy. Um, and uh, I did my 75 hard day two outside already. Uh, I did not make the dogs do the whole day with me because um, I thought that was kind of cruel. It is cold. Kirby the Husky could have handled it. Ruger, however, as much as he would have wanted to be out there, could not handle it. He's too thin furred and um, thin like skin and his ears get cold, like I've said before. So um, we worked a little bit and then I just did walking up and down the uh, driveway again. Like power walking, I guess. Cause I'm not gonna run, I'm just not gonna run straight up the whole time I do a workout unless I'm on the elliptical. I just won't do it, so there's that. I really wanted to film like B-roll style footage or like usage style footage for these things, um, but I don't think that's practical. My bathroom is, is actually pretty small and this was the best space I could fit the camera in and I'm not taking you in the shower with me. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about today was my shower routine or my night routine is actually more like what it is. Um, but because I usually shower before bed, but today I'm going to shower in the middle of the day and that might change. You know, it might become where I shower in the middle of the day, even though I prefer to shower before I get into my bed because I want to be clean getting into bed. It is a whole thing. Um, but with all this working out that might change. So. Without me just rambling about a bunch of weird stuff, as always, let me just get into it. So, I've got all of my shower uh, night routine like products behind, or in front of me, behind you, um, so that I can go over it with you. And I'm going to try to go in order the best I can, because you know, sometimes without just doing the thing, you can't, you're not really going in order. Um, okay, first of all, I always bring like a full, a full cup of cold water. Mm to the bathroom with me because it gets hot in here. And it gets hot in the shower and I'm the type of person who likes like hot showers. So, uh, yeah. And um, in the cold remedies video, I said I like to do the steam shower thing. And I like to do that when I don't have a cold either. Just like I like to do that once in a while. So I always keep a nice cold glass of water uh, with me. Um, and then I like to light a candle and um, that's just for like, ambiance or whatever to make me feel bougie I guess but um this one is a Glade candle from this past season's Christmas collection or holiday collection or whatever can you smell it uh it's like um I think it's called cranberry and champagne it doesn't say but it smells really so we come in we light a candle we get everything set real nice I'm gonna shut the light off to show you what it actually looks like in here maybe hopefully you get like a good idea of that because I have a salt lamp like nightlight plug in plugged into the wall behind you and that's what we use for light is the can the candle and the salt lamp okay so I don't know what I was thinking I have the ring light on in here but so um, where this is a cool light, it's lit up about this much, maybe slightly less in here with the warm light of the salt lamp. So that's usually, even when I'm just taking a shower, that's what I do. Uh, if you've been a follower of the blog, the dead blog that I must try to revive, but that's not going to happen this week. Possibly next week though. Um, it is in the plans. I like to listen to uh, just like I have a cacophony of different shower list things that I like to listen to but so I use this SoundBot speaker um it's just I think I spent it's less than twenty dollars it's maybe twelve or fourteen on Amazon and this is the third one we've bought since we moved in here and we both use it um and it lives in the shower so I don't think that that's too bad that makes its life about 18 months or so ish maybe a little longer 
because we got our very first one when we first moved in here and as they die <laughs> I buy a new one and when they live in there with the hard water and the steam and everything I know they're built for it but um, they it kills them <clears throat> and they're cheap it's fine it's interesting about this it's kind of dirty already from just like getting hard water build up on it but it has a suction cup and so you can stick it to the wall or wherever. I, our shower has like built in ledges and I just keep it on one of the ledges. And if you were to take this out of the shower, um, it wouldn't sound as good. It's built off or it's built to work off the acoustics in your shower and it's really cool. And it also has like features in here. So you hook your phone up to a Bluetooth. <clears throat> um, you can take a phone call if you must. I think I've only done that twice ever because there's rare occasions when I feel it's necessary to take a phone call and not call somebody back when I'm in the shower. Um, and then these buttons are volume up, volume down, and skip ahead and skip back and play and pause. So I think that's really cool. And it, those features work with YouTube and with like your music app. So that's awesome. And I guess I'll just link my podcast down below. My podcast? I don't have a podcast. My blog down below so that you can uh, see it, like the different shower playlist songs I like and I'll update that playlist and maybe I can I keep that playlist on my personal channel so I don't know if I can link it over onto this channel or not we'll see we get that going we get like the nice like I don't know I might have like rainforest sounds with um, 432 Hertz music or uh, 528 Hertz music and um, rainfall and drums or fire or whatever it's just like I'll pick one of those playlists that I have and just go with the one I'm super into at the po that point in time I do that so that I can quiet my mind. but I like to listen to these because they keep me like um, even keel in mood like calm and relaxed and I can focus on just like chilling out or whatever and um especially when i'm doing this at night that's very helpful because then i'm ready to go to bed or i'm ready to do some yoga and go to bed is actually the way i like to really do it um that sometimes if i'm feeling extra i've got some like little half sticks of incense in here that i like to just like light maybe but you know this room's small so i don't usually do that because it gets uh, real thick in here real fast. So then before I get into the shower, I like to brush my teeth. Um, I think that's important. I don't, I don't know why. I feel like I don't get clean enough if I don't brush my teeth before I get in the shower. But before I do that, I'm working on growing my hair out. We all, I think, are aware of that. I've been not very kind to my hair since November though, so that's starting over. But I got this wooden bristled brush um, that is supposed to be better for your hair um, and these thick wide bristles cause less breakage and you know you brush from the bottom up and uh, it pulls the oils your natural oils down through your hair so it's good for your hair um, I have a different brush I use if I actually put hair oil in because I don't want to trash this brush out well let's say I'm gonna do a deep conditioning day so what I'll do is first um, so I brush my hair out and then if I'm going to do an oil like a deep conditioning this is what I have used been using and it actually works pretty good and it's called Aunt Jackie's curls and coils these curls and coils are an oil um, and it smells I don't know how to explain what it smells like but one time I used way too much of it in my hair and it was really hard to get out and it the smell made me sick to my stomach but I think that was just because I put way too much you do not need a lot I have had this bottle for six months probably and I'm barely halfway through it and I would be less than halfway through it if I didn't put a quarter of the bottle on my hair one day it says it's rich, enriched with Jamaican black castor, revives and conditions chronically dry hair and scalp anti-breakage formula, no mineral oil, no petroleum. So you just like pour some into your hand, a little, and, and then just like do this number, you know, like the curly girl method almost. And I put it all the way down to my scalp and then I let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes on damp hair and then I'll jump in the shower. Then I come in here and I brush my teeth. I normally use Tom, Tom's of Maine toothpaste, but uh, the Walmart when I went last time didn't have any. Uh, so I got their their brand, Equate Beauty. It's just their their version of the Tom's of Maine toothpaste. I use that because it's anti no, it's fluoride free. And I have this like hang up about fluoride, and I haven't used fluoride toothpaste in probably 
Uh, that's almost 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, so, and I also, I use a, a bamboo toothbrush, which I bought Walmart brand. Uh, I understand that Walmart's not like the most, most bestest, but I'm already shopping there for one. It just, it is what it is. I bought the Walmart brand. They had a two pack of bamboo toothbrushes with charcoal infused bristles, and it's really cool. Here, I'll show you this. Um, because this one says number one on it. So like, I could have shared this with my dude, but he won't do this. But I get these because they're better for the environment, right? So, this one you can see is trashed, it's ready to go. So we're gonna put it in the trash right now. Open my new one. The only thing that I don't like about that is that all this environmentally healthy, safe, whatever, product packaging and everything, and they put it in a plastic wrapper. And that kind of thing drives me bonkers. So this thing is cool. So I got these <laughs> because one summer we had pincher bugs, earwigs, whatever, really bad in here. Well, it turns out the floors were rotting out in this portion of the house and they had to replace them. But um, I will never again be picking up a toothbrush and brushing my teeth with a pincher bug in it. So this is just like a travel, um, sorry, I'm trying to show you to my watch instead of my camera. It's a travel toothbrush cover. It just snaps right over my toothbrush and then no creatures get in it. Then, there's a whole process. I brush my teeth, I brush my teeth really well, and then I use some Tongs of Maine uh, mouthwash, rinse out. If I'm having a really bad tooth day, like if I've had a lot of pain, or I have a lot of like, it tastes like my teeth are getting achy or something, I will use, this is the, I think I showed you this in my cold video, it's a store brand version of the original Listerine. Uh, this stuff's rough, but it works. And then what I do is I uh, floss with a floss pick because I get a lot more control with a floss pick and I suck at flossing with regular floss. And these are Oral-B brand floss picks. I like to use, they're infused with, I think, menthol and tea tree oil. 100% they have tea tree oil in them. They smell good. Um, they are soothing to my gums and the tea tree oil is supposed, it freshens your breath and the tea tree oil is supposed to be, um, it's antibacterial, so it's supposed to help with that. So then I take a tongue scraper, like this one. I guess a copper one is better for me, but I haven't, um, I haven't uh, been able to get a copper one yet. These, I got a two pack of these. My dude actually really likes them too. Uh, they come in these look cute it's not cute it's just a handy little plastic carrying case thing um and i just scrape my tongue until no more white stuff comes off of it and you're supposed to do it in the morning i'm working on building my morning routine habits and i'm not very good at that yet at that point i start oil pulling and i will tell you oil pulling has helped me freshen my breath and it has helped my um <clears throat> teeth get whiter and i don't know otherwise about any other health benefits that I've personally experienced, but I have experienced those two things. What oil pulling is, is you take an oil and you swish it in your mouth for as long as you can, basically, because when you start, you're using these muscles where your tongue attaches in the back here, you know, because you're swish, 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 and it doesn't seem like a lot until you're doing it for like 10, 15 minutes, and then you get sore in the back of your head. Um, so you just do it for as long as you can to start with, and then they say about 20 minutes and I can do it for about 20 minutes because my shower lasts about 20 minutes with all of this stuff and I can do it the whole time. So I use coconut oil because uh, the taste is what I prefer and it's what's easily available to me and because it'll work for a couple other things. And I like things that do more than one stuff. So uh, right now I'm using my favorite coconut oil which is the uh, Great Value brand organic. Uh, this is my 100% favorite coconut oil. I know I showed you in the cast iron video that I will also use Chestnut Hill from Family Dollar, uh, but this is leaps and bounds better and it's uh, the same price. But I don't keep, this jar is actually the one I keep in my pantry. I just brought it in here to show you. I actually use this little jelly jar and you can see it's got that much oil in it right now. I fill it to the top and I keep it in the shower because I noticed that if I leave the whole jar in the shower, it will go bad. Here's why. Yes, it's an oil, so it's an anaerobic environment. So the bacteria can't spread at such a rate as it would in an aerobic environment. But 
it can still spread. The, and it is antibacterial, but you can still develop a bacteria colony in there. So it like if you're not practicing good um, hygiene when you're getting the oil out of the thing, like I need to get a little scooper. I used to have one and I don't know what happened to it. And, and you, you've got it in a hot, wet environment because it's in the shower. You're just asking for trouble. So it takes me about a week to go through this much where it would take me six or so to go through that whole jug in the shower. So um, we, I just keep it like this. And then at the end of the day, or the end of the day, at the end of the shower, I spit it out. I usually spit it into the trash because it is oil. Don't, don't swallow it, right? You're pulling toxins out of your body. Spit it into the trash, get rid of it. Oh, then we've got our mouth is taken care of. So the next thing I do before I get in the shower, but I wanna have the water running so that it's all steamy in here and I feel good, is I dry brush. And I got this one off of, you guessed it, Amazon. I think it's even an Amazon brand, Main Basics. I don't know. It's, it's a it's not it's a soft it's a medium I don't know how to explain it <laughs> it's not very coarse but it does feel exfoliating and you um, I looked up like one to follow the lymph system so I start on my foot and I, you brush everything towards your heart basically is what you do so you you, you don't pl apply a lot of pressure because you can hurt yourself and you shouldn't do it every day and until you build up tolerance but you just um, brush 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 Pay, pay extra attention to your elbows, you know, put your brush and brush and brush it, and everything towards the heart, everything towards the heart. When you do your stomach midsection, you go in a clockwise pattern because that's the pattern that, that's the direction that your digestive system works in. So you do, do that and then brush everything, legs, your high knee, you can spend extra time on areas where you have cellulite, it's supposed to help with that circulation and stuff. Um, and don't do your face. Uh, but yeah, you see, so you just dry brush and then you get, you, I get in the shower. Hey, when I'm in the shower, what I'm doing is do I have my hair in oil or whatever? If I do, it's already pinned up with a clip. If not, is it a wash day? If it's a wash day, I will immediately wet my hair and then I use this conditioner because I do have bad split ends and I don't have the budget for, um, expensive shampoos and conditioners, um, unfortunately. I would love to be able to spend all kinds of money on it, but I can't. This is uh, a little more pricey, but it is just like a drugstore L'Oreal. It's Elvive, Elvive, I don't know, Total Repair 5. Um, it's repairing conditioner, it smells amazing and it makes my hair feel really good. So what I do is I immediately wet my hair down and then pass the crown, you know, so I start like here. And from here to here, I uh, lather thickly with conditioner and then I pin it up. And then I move on to my face. Well, this is in my hair, soaking in all the goodies. And now back to our coconut oil that I take just enough to get my fingertips oily and I do my whole face. And I'm telling you when I, from the time I switched to using coconut oil, I'll show you what I used to use. I really liked this product and I used it for years. Um, and it's Biore, the charcoal, face wash um but I have rosacea that creeps up on me sometimes and when I switched to that coconut oil situation it's gone when you change your skincare routine you're always gonna not always but generally especially me but most people have breakouts and I did get a couple breakouts in this area at first but we're beyond that it's scary at first to think about washing your face with an oil but if you think about it, oil, that oil is pulling away all the bad oil and all the dirt. And what I mean by bad oil is your sebum is not bad oil, but it is filled with all the um, dirt and stuff from the day, all the dirt and pollutants and everything from the day. So this is pulling that all away, and but immediately replacing it with something that almost mimics sebum. So you're not clogging your pores and you're not, um, like damaging your skin and it can be a little tricky though. So you, I just rub it in my face and then I let it sit just like my conditioner. And then I work on the rest of things. Like, am I gonna shave? So I used to use Dollar Shave Club razors, but they have a trimmer on the back and a really flippy head. And I have a literal scar on my leg from cutting into my leg accidentally. So I just use, these are the best ones I found. I don't 
I know what they are at the store, but it's a big razor. It's just a black disposable razor. I do not use these one and done. I use these like one month and done. And I don't use shaving cream. This is my flavor of the month. <laughs> I just found this. It smells so good. Mm, it's wa a weird flavor for me to pick, but it's watermelon and agave. Ole. Ole. Oil of Ole. B3 Complex Body Wash. And I literally use this as my shaving gel also because my sensitive skin doesn't like shaving gel. And then I will scrub my feet with what, just like a little pumice stone. Not hard. Just every day. Keep up on it once or twice a week i will use one of these on my face so after i've done everything else in the shower that i'm going to do oh i forgot i didn't get it out because i'm almost out of it let's back up a little bit no before i start the um body wash shaving process the first thing i do after my face is um i have this bar of soap and i'll put it on the screen and link it below it is a probiotic soap and it is bay laurel something and it's an exfoliating probiotic soap and I use it in my armpits and all my little creasy places because I struggle with that bacteria that builds up and causes body odor and this creates a environment where they don't want to live so there okay so skip forward so I've done everything so my face is still soaking in oil and then this is just like a family dollar five dollar microderm abrasion like you hear how it's not nothing and I get all oh, in there, I go up and away with everything. I will clean this with dish soap. I keep a bottle of dish soap in the shower because some of the things I use get pretty oily and we gotta keep the bottom of the shower not slippery. To clean the oil off my face, I just get hot water, not too hot because you don't wanna hurt yourself, and just do that until it feels right. And if I feel like it's not, there's a trick you'll learn. It'll feel real oily still, but it's not. But but then I move on to my hair, and what I'm doing is I'm turning the temperature of the water down, and I'm shampooing my scalp. And right now, I'm just using the last little bit of some herbal essences, grapefruit, but I will be buying the shampoo that goes with that Elvive conditioner. So I already have the conditioner sitting in my hair, and it's protecting my hair from any fall, uh, wash down from the shampoo, and I'm only shampooing my scalp. I shampoo my scalp, and then I rinse everything out together after I use a very wide tooth comb to brush through my hair again. So then when we get, when I, I'm sorry, we're not taking a shower together. When I get out of the shower, immediately the first thing I do is I wrap my hair up. I used to use a cotton t-shirt, but my wonderful mother gifted me this for Christmas. Um, it is a microfiber, uh, like, turban towel. So you put it on. I can't do that right now. Sorry, I hurt my back, I guess, and I can't really bend down. But you put it on, wrap it up, and then it works really, really well, and it doesn't rip at your hair like a terry cloth towel would. Real quick. Look at there's my filming mess. <laughs> Whoops. Real quick, I forgot to tell you about this thing, which is a bath sheet. It is bigger than a uh, beach towel. Yeah, maybe now you can get a better idea of how big the dang thing is. I bought it like 10 years ago. See, it's folded over a few inches here. And uh, I actually have two of them, and I think I paid like $12 a piece at where? Where? The Walmart. But I really like them, and they're big and cozy. Yeah. They're my favorite towels, and I, it's the only towels that I use. Especially because, guess what, I'm a big girl and I want a towel that wraps all the way around me. So then I wrap up in my towel, I spit my oil in the trash, and then I will take Witch Hazel, which this is a Family Dollar one. I much prefer the, uh, shoot, I'll put it on the screen. I can, can't think of it today a different brand but Witch Hazel as a toner and what that will do is if you do have residual oil on your face it will break that down and um, it just is one more step in calming your skin. I use this deodorant and I immediately put it on. This is Schmitz. It's like that native. It's a little cheaper. I've never tried the native. I have a friend who uses it. She really likes it. I love this one and I specifically love this scent which is not listed on here. Charcoal and magnesium. Um, this is the first deodorant I have found where I don't, uh, like, four hours in, like, pick up my arm and get a whiff. So, uh, and since I said I've been really struggling with that. So, I put that on, 
And then we're on to our skincare routine. I will put on some chapstick, which I have been into this one lately, which is actually Carmex Lip Balm, Cherry Scented SPF 15. So I put the lip balm on and then I put on I'm not going to do it today, of course, because I'm taking a shower in the daytime, but I will put on this retinol serum. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, retinol is sun reactive, so if you put it on at night, you wash it off in the morning. If you leave it on in the daytime and the sun hits it, you undo all the hard work you just spent all night doing. It activates the vitamin A in your body already to, and vitamin A is what, oh, I should have had some sciencey facts in front of me, but it is what helps rebuild your collagen and keep your skin uh, less like wrinkly, basically. So I use that, and then I put on this. Uh, this is just the one that I have. I, use, I just use like an eye serum or an eye cream, but this one I got at Ross, I believe. It's a 24 karat gold collagen and squalene. And I got it because, it smells really good. I got it because it has that squalene in it, which I think is a seaweed and uh, allegedly the internet says that it is, sorry I didn't show you, um, good for your eyes. So I'll put that on and then we top everything off. I'll show you, I saved this jar, it's empty. I actually have the Walmart brand of it because it costs half the, half the much, half the amount, but this is my favorite, favorite, favorite. I have used this for, I don't know, at least 10 years, probably more. Um, it is L'Oreal Collagen Moisture Filler. And you probably can't see because it's like a half empty bottle. But this is like the Walmart version of it and it's not just as good, but it's almost just as good. And I'm doing this immediately after a shower, mind you, because you want all of these things to, so you want them to lock in the moisture. They're emollient. So you want them to lock in the moisture um, that you already have on your, outwardly on your body. Humectant would suck the moisture like from the air to add to you, but emollient like locks it in. So, and humectants are, I can't even think of an example of a humectant, but there are, most things you put on to condition your skin are emollients. So next I just, whole body lotion up. And I was using this, and I like to use this when my skin gets really dry in the winter time, but I picked up this at Ross, and it smells so good. It's uh, Manuka Honey, Manuka Honey Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Lotion, and they both do a really good job. This, again, Vaseline Essential Healing Lotion. So, yeah, I like to put those on, and then we'll put a little mango uh, cuticle oil on the cuticles. And then, last but not least, I take some petroleum jelly. I rub it on all the parts of my, this is the baby one from, guess what, Walmart. Um, I rub it on all the parts of my body where I think I get like extra dry. And then it includes my hands. And then I put a real good um, slathering it up on my feet. And I take my knuckle and I dig really hard into my fascia, my feet, to release um, any tension that's in there, have like a little mini foot massage, and then I put on some socks, and I leave them on as long as I can stand them, which means at like 3 a.m. I'm waking up kicking off my socks. This sounds like so much, but it really, I think start to finish, maybe takes 25 minutes, not 20, um, even though this video is getting very long. And then one other thing I wanted to tell you about that I have is this, it's called a gua, gua sha tool. It's, it reminds me out of Jade. They make them out of all kinds of stone, but it looks like this, and it's a facial massage tool. And I'm not going to give you a tutorial on it because I'm not that well versed in it. I will show you slightly what you do. You have to have the oil on your face, right, for the like gliding. And it activates your like pressure points and lymph nodes and stuff, or not activate. Let's just say it activates your pressure points. I really encourage you to look up a video about gua sha or read about it so that, because I, I know what I'm doing, but I can't speak to you very clearly about it just yet, I guess. But you take, you know, there's different sides you can do, like um, we'll use this on the jawline and you have the oil and you use very light pressure and you just pull 
and then you, you know, if you have any spot, like once you get up in here, I usually have some tension, you just massage that out. Um, I don't do this every day. I probably do it three days a week. And it just breaks up any tension in the face. It's really relaxing. It's nice. I usually do it if I'm laying in the tub instead of taking a shower. So anyway, do you have any like fun, interesting night routine products or things that you like to do? Did you learn something fun today? Do you want to try a gua sha? Um, I'll list as much of this stuff in the description below as I can. And I'm gonna jump in the shower so I can get out and edit this video and get it up to you. Bye. I have to clean this brush out before I start this video.